Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And throughout the end of last week and the weekend, there was a rollout of a new version of Microsoft Edge web browser. So you might have had it uh, as early as January 6th. And it's uh, still rolling out, actually. So uh, the stable version is now updated to version 97. And how do you know if you're there? Simply go to the upper right corner in Edge three horizontal dots go to help and feedback and about Microsoft Edge it will update itself to 97.0.1072.55 as of today January the 10th 2022 so uh, what's new in this browser well um, one of the first things that uh, they did in version 97 is um, First of all, to um, have better and um, make actually easier the different profiles that you can have uh, signing into websites. So if you have multiple profiles, including some for work, school, or even personal profiles, um, these will adapt themselves to choose which profile goes with what you know websites and accounts that you might have, and the. Uh, settings and profile preferences you will have these details so uh, you simply have to go to the settings and you'll have to go then to uh, simply look at profile and profile preferences to uh, have that information right here at the bottom so when you click here you have all the automatic profile switching and all the different profile information that you might want depending on the accounts that you have on your browser there's uh, HTTPS automatically now websites which are HTTPS are going to be connected through secure and uh, this is of course something that is being pushed a lot of the browsers try to have everybody use secure HTTP for encryption uh, now this is automatic if a website is HTTPS on domains and so on secure protocol will be used at all time uh, third-party context um, with um, with Eb Eb web SQL sorry so um, they're gonna block web SQL third-party contexts uh, from uh, frames uh, because there could be some security problems with that and at times, they just want to make sure that things are a little more controlled. There's a new thing called citations in Microsoft Edge. For those that are actually using Microsoft Edge, and you, maybe you're doing research or schoolwork, um, and you put websites sometimes in uh, what is, of course, the collections feature, and the settings of the collections feature, you will have the possibility to um, actually have citations available if they are turned on in the uh, settings. So by when you turn that on in the citations feature in the settings, there is going to be um, generate generations of citations that students can actually use later or you know for scientific or any type of purpose when you're doing research. And they're going to be created automatically by Microsoft Edge browser. So it could be something interesting to help out here. And finally, control flow guard. Um, there will be, of course, more fine grain protection. Um, what's going to happen is that one of the biggest problems is memory corruption vulnerabilities. And what happens is that a lot of software actually have that flaw happening uh, that could be technically exploited. So often these are fixed with security updates. Well, in the um, Edge browser now, you will have something called Control Flow Guard. It's supposed to actually protect from these types of vulnerabilities and uh, protect from indirect calls. So make it a little more secure. And talking about security, there are security updates. So if it's not for this reason, uh, just update to the latest version. There are five security bulletins that have to do with the browser. 
Of course, we were expecting that there would be some security updates since Google Chrome uh, 97 also had security updates for um, that new version. So basically, um, that means there is going to be some security updates uh, also in there. So even if you don't really care about the new features just for the security updates reasons, not a bad idea to update to version 97. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.